So let's look at trusses. <clears throat> and so for trusses, y'all remember method of sections. I might sit down uh, here. Sorry. Uh, do y'all remember method of sections, uh, right? What would we do? Uh, we would cut it and only look at one half or the other, right? Uh, so if I want to know what's happening at G, E, G, C, B, uh, B, C, and I would cut it through those members. And when you cut them, you open them up, kind of. You expose their internal forces. Let's know, all right? And so you can look at either half of it. I'm going to look, I'm going to think I'm going to keep this half of it. Uh, so I still have that 400 Newtons. Uh, we solve for DY, 900, uh, 1200. <clears throat> All right. And so the, the forces that I cut open, I know that they only have one force inside of them. Remember, that force inside BC is along pin to pin. Uh, that force inside GC is along the direction. That force inside GE, they only, they're, they're very simple members. They're special members. They're two force members because they're pinned and pinned at both sides. <clears throat> so they only have that one force. Um, and I know that this one is at a four, three, five angle. Uh, and then I would generally have three unknowns and three equations, right? So I could sum the forces in the X direction, negative F G E, negative four fifths F G C, negative F B C plus 400 equals zero, right? Some of the forces in X equals zero. Some of the forces in Y equals zero. Uh, the three fifths component of F G C, Minus 1,200 plus 900 equals zero, so FGC. I can solve for that one first. Comes out to be positive, all right? Positive means I drew it the right direction. And I, would, I will always guess tension. Notice, I guess it was pulling outward. Uh, and so I guess tension, so it is 500 Newtons. And in tension, maybe I'll box that in because that's what it's asking for. Uh, and then our last equation, last equation is the, the hardest, not the hardest one necessarily, but the easiest one to make mistakes on. Um, but you can sum moments about any point. I might sum moments about point C because 1200 goes straight through it, FBC goes straight through it, FGC goes straight through it. So then it really just simplifies down to FGE is acting three, its moment arm is three. I, I should kind of draw dimensions right here. That's three tall, it's four wide. Uh, that would be a positive moment because it would cause counterclockwise rotation. Counterclockwise is positive in this class. All right, um, and, and then uh, 400 is three, but that would be negative because that would cause clockwise rotation. And 900 is four away. That would be positive equals zero. FGE comes out to be negative 800 Newtons. What does that negative mean? That negative means I drew it the wrong direction to begin with. So that FGE, let me rewrite it up here. FGE, 800 Newtons compression because I drew it in tension. It came out negative. It was in compression. Uh, and then I would plug, uh, plug these back in to plug that in back there, plug this in back there to find FBC. Positive 800. That positive means I chose correctly. I drew it correctly, and I drew it in tension. And so that, that's my answer right there. All right. Uh, but we're not doing – that. that's not part of this class. Uh, that's just kind of a sentence. That's a review. A review of a couple of things. A review of a couple of things. Uh, you've got to really quickly be able to, to solve for dy and ax and ay. You, first of all, you've got to know that, hey, I, I need to put an ax and ay because there's a pin there. you got to know I only need a dy perpendicular to the ground um, because there's a roller there. You've got to know that and you've got to be able to solve for those pretty quickly because we're moving on to more important things. So 